The opening reception of a new joint art exhibition called Islands and Handbags was held last Thursday, the 5th of March, at Montreux Boathouse Hotel in Qatar. International artist Marilyn Band came together with Thai artist Kun Pom Itisak to show friends and supporters, like Kathy Mantai, who likes them both, some of Marilyn's paintings of islands and Pom's handbags. Marilyn is inspired not only by her home base in Phuket, but also by her travels from Pangar Bay to many other bays around the world, and she is a well-versed sailor, well known for her delightful prints and paintings, depicting colorful scenes from daily life of her home base Phuket, or her various exotic travel destinations. On shore at the boathouse were some of the visual impressions of islands in the Indian Ocean, inspired by one of her many voyages across the seas. She told our friend Tony about some of her paintings of the Seychelles Islands on display. Well, it's uh, black and white, pen and ink and uh, street scene. Um, I love all the electric mix of people that you find in the Seychelles. It really amuses me and um, I really enjoy the Seychelles. The visitors and guests of the boathouse are probably more interested in her pictures of local locations, but she is not animated by overseas destinations. This one, this is of La Digue, uh, one of the islands in the Seychelles, not the main island, and it's only bicycles and ox carts, there are no cars on the island. Um, this is a restored, typical Seychelles warehouse. Uh, it's a sunshine guest house. And it says Poison Arrivé, which is spelled phonetically as they say. It's, uh, it's Creole. Um, this is of La Digue again. Um, the ox cart comes down to greet the visitors when they get off the ferry. And the boys greet the girls. It's a very sexy place to say, Charles. Well, it's fairly labor intensive, but I love doing it. Pom Itisak was showing a few of her new handmade handbags created from recycled plastic materials, such as bags and plastic packings, as she explained to Tony. Plastic shopping bag, yeah. And uh, this one, I just, uh, I show you about. There's a simple plastic bag, like this. And, and after you want to have the color, and you just shoot only the color plastic shopping bag. And after inside, uh, this is my technique. She has a website, www.remains-of-the-dag.com, which shows how to recycle and recreate these works of art. Uh, I show you about step by step already in my website. You can look that. Yeah, fine. And everyone can cook this. But before you cook this, you must learn about plastic, any kind of plastic too, because really important. Every kind of plastic, they have chemical and really um, some many poison inside. Some they say they tell it's organic plastic bag, but it's a uh, if you have some skin or uh, some color in there is not organic plastic bag or we have problem these are very dangerous and careful about that she showed one bag made with well it translates as mineral water I, I think it's uh, in my plastic uh, bag project, I, my plastic project about this. I really uh, hope everyone that look at my website, they can uh, do themselves, or uh, if you're interested, we can help uh, this uh, planet, yeah, for protect in environment, something like this. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, just a uh, cover shopping bag. And, uh, I think it's uh, very nice if, if you can uh, reuse uh, about plastic bag and uh, like a sheet like this, like, like some sheet like this. And after you can decide what you want, you can make coat, you can make handbag, you can make uh, every kind of you want because it's waterproof. Yeah, you can uh, decide the product by yourself too. It's a uh, useful. She also showed some photos from Lanta Island and Krabi, where she inspires government school students. 
I did from Lang Thailand on uh, the last September. I've been in Lang Thailand for four months, stay there four months, and I teaching about uh, recycling uh, uh, paper and recycling about the. Uh, about the, I collect the garbage on the sea and to, to do some art, to do some art, and uh, I have the workshop with the students. Wow, that's fantastic! Yeah, and I have a uh, 300 students. 300 just students. Just only one, uh, one art teacher. teacher. Wow. Yeah, and I where, have. Where is it located? Uh, Lanta Island. Lanta Island. Yeah, and uh, they have a school. All together is nine school, but I have students and nine eight school. Yeah, this a. Uh, uh, all students they collect the garbage and to do some art. We really enjoy it. And after I teaching, uh, not only uh, do just only art. You must uh, take material. After so the children they can decide what they want. After they can can do it like this. After they make the story and like the story of uh, of the them work too. So, this uh, this kind of project, these are my money. I uh, just have uh, a few. I enjoy to do this. Yeah, I sponsor all of this, of my project for the children. But now I think uh, really important when I live, uh, I, I, I have a uh, material for like a tooth for school about 10 set. But normally I want to have a uh, keep for every student. They should have them own. That's why, yes. Then why I want to uh, uh, collect money or buy something for them. Every man and them own. They can, uh, when low season, they can collect and do themselves. If you want to join with me and uh, welcome them, and it's fine. Yeah. I think every student, we need only is uh, 100 baht per one student. Yeah, that's too expensive. No, please. And uh, I, I think every uh, low season, I love to do that every year, every year. And I teaching uh, how to clean, how to clear the beach. Yeah, how to protect uh, the land uh, because they stay there. If uh, dirty, tourists not come back. Yeah, that's why how to protect that them home. A unique way to get people to collect rubbish, huh? Yes, yeah. This, you can see uh, how human we do this. Yes, it's our, our fault. We are spoiling the planet. Pouring on the beach and uh, when low season, uh, the sea can, you, if you walk on the beach, you can see this. And horrible for me. Horrible. Yeah, I not enjoy that. Yeah. But I think uh, when I teach uh, the students, I think uh, I not tell them only uh, enjoy the, about artwork, to work this. I think it's, uh, you must clean the beach, but uh, art can help you to do this. You can creative and decide this. But uh, the best, the, the most important, how to clean the beach. Pom is certainly an inspiration to our students and supporters who can see the current exhibition at the Boathouse until the 31st of March. But Pom deserves another exhibition of the Lanta students' creations, so perhaps she can swap positions with Marilyn to make it Pom's Island and Marilyn's bags next time.